Hi everyone, happy holidays. You can see I am celebrating in true form today with my antlers and jingle bells. Super happy episode today with all my jingling. We're gonna get into the unboxing. I hope I got a present today and not a lump of coal. This box is pretty heavy, rather large compared to what we usually see. So let's check out the card. Hey light. Can I open it up now, please? Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Wow, that's like actually really pretty. Maybe this is my Christmas present. You guys like my jingling? My gemstone. I'm gonna jingle all the way today. All right guys, we have some really cool halite here. So halite is actually the scientific name for rock salt. It is NaCl for those of you who are unfamiliar with the periodic table, that is sodium chloride. So right here we have an example of halite. It's very pink. I was not expecting this pink. It looks like cotton candy pink. Ew, it smells terrible. I won't be licking this, even if it is salt. Ugh. So what is halite? Halite is rock salt. Rock salt is the stuff that you put on your driveway when it snowed a ton and there's a lot of ice. It's cold outside, there's lots of snow. I'm gonna celebrate the holidays with my antlers and my salt. So the salt that you use, maybe you got it at the grocery store, you use it when you're cooking dinner. That salt is more refined to remove impurities. This hasn't been refined at all. In fact, this was probably pulled straight out of a deposit and has not been touched. I don't know what's causing this pink color, but I'm not gonna lick it and find out. I'm too stuffed for my uh, holiday meal and my eggnog. I don't like eggnog, but for this video I will. You can find halite anywhere near a large body of salt water. So obviously that would be an ocean, but it can also be a saline lake. A perfect example of a saline lake would be the Dead Sea in Jordan and Israel. The salt water is deposited on a surface. The water evaporates, leaving a deposit of actual salt. You can see that there's kind of different layers of salt, kind of a base right here, and then this top part. This is the salt that you're gonna find in a big bag at a home store. The research I did, it was about $8.97 for a um, 50 pound bag, which translates to roughly 17 cents a pound. The salt that I bought earlier this week was about this this big and it was about $3. The salt that you get from the grocery store, it's a lot more expensive and that's because it's refined and the impurities are removed. Tell me when I'm rambling, because I know I do that sometimes. Sometimes. All the time. <laughs> oh, oh, Ooh, oh, oh. Christmas came twice today. So I have another box, guessing this is another type of halite. Okay, so this is what I thought was gonna come out of that first box. This looks more like what I thought salt would be. It looks like the cubic crystal structure. This smells better than this. It's clear, it's translucent. It looks like the salt that you would actually use, but again, it's still rock salt. Pretty cool, huh? Two examples of the same mineral. There's the cleavage plane. Parts of this have chipped off or peeled off. I would think that if this was actually polished, it would be smoother, more symmetrical, not so many sharp edges. Halite actually comes from a Greek word, hail, meaning salt, and it, meaning rock. So it literally means salt rock. My production team is asking me if I would lick this for $10 and I say no. So why do I have antlers on and why are we doing this episode around Christmas? We are trying to figure out gemstones that actually taste Ooh. good. And if you remember the Rudolph Red-Nosed Reindeer movie, which is my all-time favorite Christmas movie, Yukon Cornelius, there's a scene that he is licking his pickaxe and he says he hit it rich. For a long time, people thought that he was mining for gold and gold tastes good. When in reality, there was a scene that was deleted in the 60s that showed him mining peppermint. Full disclosure, there are no peppermint mines. You can't mine peppermint. Peppermint is not a gemstone. Peppermint tastes really good, but Yukon Cornelius is just lucky that he lives in some fantasy land that you can find peppermint mines. I don't recommend licking pickaxes to find gold. You don't know what's on the pickaxe. You don't know what's in the gold. Maybe there's an impurity or something that will make you sick. When we're unboxing gemstones, I always try to give you the full version of what I'm experiencing. So that would be the five senses, but unfortunately in gemology, taste is not one of the senses that that we're gonna be using. Still got four others and it's a great way to figure it out. All right, everyone, I want you to take a closer look at this specimen. Notice how much it really does look like salt. Just don't lick your screen. So I think 
think I heard someone on the roof when we were filming this. I'm gonna go check my stocking. Your present to me can be liking and subscribing. There's a few more presents underneath the tree I'm gonna go unbox. Jingle that notification bell. See you later.